So having created um, a mesh in Dice Hub, um, next thing I want to do is to run the flow solver. So um, got a mesh here. Um, zoom out, it's a mesh around a cylinder with some weight refinement and it's a layer mesh. So um, once that's done, we can go back up to the project level. And we want to create um, the solver, uh, solver application. So incompressible steady state player. So this is, I'm just going to use simple foam, I think. I'm just going to take the name left over to something a bit more normal. Um, the first thing to do is to import the mesh that we've just created. So this is the one that I just created a few minutes ago. Um, it's Navi X mesh. So it's loaded. Loading. Right, so that's the mesh import done. That's pretty straightforward. Materials are standard, kinematic, viscosity, um, that material, air, water, oil. Air, turbulence, whichever turbulence model you like, boundary conditions. For this one, um, I just want to set some standard boundary conditions, so I'm just going to select um, symmetry plane. So you just select the boundary, inlet boundary. That's going to be a patch, lower wall. It's going to be symmetry. Outlet is a patch, upper wall. It's going to be symmetry. So this is just like you would do in open foam. Um, and then the inlet boundary conditions for this is just 2D cylinder flow. So total pressure, I'm just going to have a zero gradient for the pressure inlet boundary. Velocity, I'm just going to have fixed value, okay, 10 meters per second. Turbulence, turbulent parameters, put in whatever value you choose would normally put in for this sort of application. I just put in some default values for um, for doing it quickly. So that's the inlet boundary, then go to outlet boundary. And outlet boundary pressure is going to be fixed value. So I can put in um oops. Eight D the pascals, but remember um, it is in um, simple form, it, pressure is actually pressure divided by density. And for the velocity, I want zero gradient, and for the other ones, I want zero gradient because this is a um, standard outlet boundary conditions. Basically, you can select whatever options you would normally select when you're doing this kind of thing in open foam. So we've got pressure fixed and zero gradients at the outlet. The inlet is zero gradient pressure, and the other ones are fixed. That's that gone. Initialization. Initialize it to something sensible, like we set for the inlet boundary conditions. So that's 80. Thousand and ten solver settings. We're just going to leave the leave these at the standard um, relaxation factors. So you can put that consistent or non non consistent. Numerics. I don't know too much about the numerics. I'm just going to leave that. Um, you know more about that, then you can adjust it to whatever you would like. 
connectors. I don't need any extra monitors because it's going to do the convergence anyway. And here I want to do it for how long this is going to take. Um, thousand iterations. One machine, change machine. Four gigabytes, 20 gigabytes. Just going to run that as it is. See what happens. So that is literally how quick it is to set up um, solar parameters in Open Foam. Well, in the Dyson platform, it's a hell of a lot quicker than it would normally be. You're doing all of the um, case files manually in open foam. So here we've got simple foam running and you can see you just about make out the iteration number there. So on this panel, because we're under um, we're under the run settings now, we can look at the log so we can click over to monitors. So you can see this running um, in real time, you can see the convergence, which is brilliant. Okay, so that has been running for literally a few minutes now and can see the convergence plot and I've run it as much as I want to run it for. Um, a thousand iterations or thereabouts. And it has finished running so we can have a look at the results. Um, it says the results loaded successfully. It's downloading a VTU file. So we should be able to have a look at the solution. And um, that looks a bit like a flow solution. Um, let's just change the orientation of that. And it's going to be a bit quicker if from the internal mesh there. I'm just going to do a cut plane and go down to Z normal and select apply. And then now I've got cut plane, I can do surface with edges um, if I want. I think my best is to leave it a surface. Solid colour. Now here I can select the parameter of interest. And there you have it. That's so quick. Um, so I can. Uh, oh, what do I need to do here? Basically, want to. Oh, that's it. Want to minimise that. If I go back up to result scene, then it'll get rid of that window pane. Now, um, not quite used to these controls yet, but I can just drag it across there. And. Is fantastic. Um, if I click back onto the slice filter, I can do surface with edges. That is brilliant. I'm just using several. So have it, you can see you could do with some sort of zoom window on this, but um, I can just about move it around enough to see. You can see the layer mesh, um, a single layer of cells around the surface of the cylinder. And um, if I select on the slice filter, um, I can change the parameter that I'm looking at. So that is turbulence. That is uh, eddy viscosity. 
and go down and have a look at the pressure. Uh, I'm going to change it back to velocity. So yeah, this is um, well, it's a 3D mesh, but it's essentially 2D flow over a cylinder. And um, that's my solution. Now, um, whether you're meshing or doing a flow solve, you can download the results here, which is really useful. So just click on that one, and then it downloads a zip file of the entire case. So you can load it on your, your own computer and examine it in more detail. Um, so there we have it. That's a very quick flow solution over a cylinder using the Dyson platform.